Yo, 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 YouTube, it's Ollie here, and I'm going to be doing a Samsung Go mic review. So let's jump straight in. Videos will highly benefit from good audio. It goes sour when subjected to bad audio. So this is where the introduction of the Go mic comes into play. Supposedly, the Go mic is perfect for recording music, podcasts, or field recording needs, and a very attractive £31 from Amazon, great bargain if it lives up to its reputation. So, here's what you're going to get for your money. Obviously, the Go mic itself, a very small and sleek design. However, my personal opinion, the join that joins the mic to the stand is a bit shitty, and also the stand itself is quite light so it's subjected to tip over a lot. However you also do get a very nice sleek and suave carrying case. With such a compact size the mic would be brilliant to take and plug on a small media device if you want to do some clear recording on the go. All the cables and accessories are acquired with the mic. So not everything fits in the small carrying case mind you so do be aware of that. However this is no biggie for me as I'm planning to keep it as a desktop stationary mic but maybe something you want to consider. The specifications of this mic are stunning in comparison to its price featuring the lack of need for drivers due to it being a USB class compliant device. The microphone is equipped with three different modes, cardinoid mode, the omnidirectional mode, and minus 10 dB mode. These three modes all contain different features. I'm going to start out with the cardinoid mode. With this mode runs between 80 Hz and 18 to 18 kHz. This is the most widely used setting. It will clearly pick up your voice without the normal, necessary use of a pop filter. However, do play around with the microphone as it will pick up almost anything in front of it. There's also omnidirectional mode. This picks up everything in a complete 360 degree circumference around the mic. This would be really good if you're having a group conversation with many people and you just wanted to walk around a table or something of the such. Finally, there's the minus 10 dB setting. This is the setting that I've been using whilst doing this review. You need to be quite close to the microphone, but a very clear and crisp audio is what you get when you use this setting. This would most likely require the use of a pop filter, mind you, which does majorly affect the portability of the microphone, which, as the microphone suggests, is what it's all about. Here's a little test for each setting. I'll put it into each mode and say she sells, she sells by the whore. Okay, this is the omnidirectional mode. I am standing about three feet away from the microphone, and you should be able to hear my voice pretty clearly. Um, there may be some tinniness from the walls around, so if I had to hit a far wall, you can probably hear that very well, even though it's behind the microphone. Okay, next we have the cardinoid mode, which is the normal mode I guess most people will be using. It's uh, it's fairly good, not quite as crisp as the minus 10 dB mode, however it does do the job very well, and doesn't tends to pick up a tiny bit of background noise, like you may be able to hear the fan on my computer whirring away. Finally, we have the minus 10 dB mode. I doubt you'll be able to hear me very well from here, as it only picks up what's in front of it. Um, you need to be literally about four or five inches away from the microphone for it to actually pick up anything clearly, so this is probably not best if you're trying to have some distance from your microphone. In addition to these uh, very cool features, it also has some more, such as there's a headphone jack in the side of the microphone where you can actually plug in headphones and listen to yourself real time speaking. This is a really good way to gauge how well you're speaking, your voice, everything and the such. This is also very rare to have on a microphone of this price and quality, as normally this is a very high end sort of feature. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope this has swayed your mind as to whether you should buy the Go mic or not. I would highly recommend it. And as always, please make a comment, rate, and subscribe if you feel this video is helpful or informative in any way. If not a tad boring, I'm sorry about it. Guys.